I'm with Debbie Abrahams from the Labour Party. We've had over 1,500 questions, Debbie, from job seekers on read.co.uk concerned about employment issues. Mm -hmm. We've chosen 10 that are most representative of the questions asked, which I'll ask you in order. Uh, this is a question from Pascal from London. With a continuing gender pay gap and underrepresentation of women on boards, what will you do to counter gender discrimination in the workplace? It is quite shocking. I have heard cases of where pregnant women have been uh, made redundant um, and because of the increase in employment tribunal fees they haven't had the recourse that they should have to challenge that discrimination and we know again 86% of the cuts uh, and, and tax and, and social security changes that have, have inc uh, we've seen over the last uh, seven years have impacted on, on women. We need a stronger Equality and Human Rights Commission who can challenge this discriminatory behaviour. And as I say, we need to make sure that employment tribunals are reinstated so any discrimination can be challenged as well. Well, these do remain uh, big issues, Al although, of course, the gender pay gap has come down. And for younger uh, people, it's come down quite substantially. But there is still a pay gap, uh, particularly for after having uh, children. I think the first thing is, of course, to shine a light on that and to make sure people know about it and to encourage uh, firms, encourage employers to think about the progression uh, opportunities that are there to make sure that where possible, progression opportunities, promotion opportunities are available with flexible working options uh, where that's appropriate. And we've also said that for larger companies, we will have um, pay gap reporting so that that brings boardroom focus to this issue and helps companies to think through uh, how they're going to make, uh, make things better. This is something that makes my blood boil in this day and age. We really shouldn't be living with gender discrimination. Look, I mean, uh, uh, some of the work that was done in the coalition years at least led 50, uh, sorry, FTSE 100 companies uh, typically to, 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 to accept a target of 25 to 30% women that's uh, on their boards. But it hasn't penetrated down into smaller companies and we have to make it. And while I'm all in favour of it being done through encouragement, incentivization, I do think you need a Damocles sword where you say basically to companies who are capable of doing this, if you don't do it, we give you all the time, we want it to be voluntary, but if you don't achieve it, we are going to require you to achieve it. I don't want to take that sword of Damocles away. And frankly, some of it applies to ethnic representation too. I mean, it is devastating how few people in our incredibly diverse society find someone of their own background that's on the board of a major company or in senior management. And it's a management issue. I mean, non-executive directors on boards, that's much easier to solve than bringing people up through your company so that they're senior in your company and they reach the board that way.